This is gonna be the best interview they've ever had. Oh yeah. It's gonna be That's one what take. We do. Just keep it rolling. Sizzle, I can't thank you enough for doing this. You know we've been we're tight. We've we've coached and played together. We cried together when you got the five million dollar bonus. Yes, yes we did. Want to get in a sack and yes, all that stuff. Yes, we did. They don't believe all this stuff happened. It was like we were a myth. I was like, I needed one sack. I was like, um, Rex closed the defensive door. Like, all right, guys, we got a guy with some business on the table. We're going to get it. So this is the game plan. I'll never forget the yeah. number. All the blitz. Like, look, this is the stuff we're going to call until Sears get his sack. And then, boom, 13 yeah, blitz. Yeah, I was Ray, like, you got to sell out. This you got to be over we, here. We, you like, everybody like, all right, we, we get it. We're we going to get him his sack. And I got it like in the two minute before halftime. Right. And then everybody came and congratulated me and they were like, all right, now we can play football. Yeah, now we were you, family, you no know what I'm saying? Like everybody like, all right. And that's why I love this team so much. But I want everybody to understand that as soon as you're out of that building, mm -hmm. it's a different story. It's so different I go story. to the Jets. Let me read you a couple things. If he's the Michelangelo, I was his Sistine Chapel. He gets to see what he created. He gets to coach against the very beast, the monster he helped create. Is that Thanks, me? Suggs. That's you. Oh, my God. Okay. All right. If you're not part of my team, you are the enemy. You're talking about me. Remember, I'm with my Jet team. Oh, man. Ed will, will be joining Ray in the Hall of Fame, and you'll yeah. be there one day. And if you're not, it's crazy, but you will be. And what did those two guys specifically teach you? Being in a room with those two, the game was able to slow down for me. I was able to enhance my football IQ to anticipate things, see things before they happen. And that just was because they enhanced my study habits. You know what I'm saying? Usually when you're a young guy, you're happy to be in the NFL. Oh, I made it, da 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 They was like, nah. You, you're not going to do that here. You're going to take it to another level. What are you bringing to these, this group of guys right now? Same thing. Because you're in that same Same, same, same boat. Isn't same that boat. amazing the way it goes? Yeah. I remember, you know, when guys in their first couple of years, when they first, they was good players, you know, phenomenal talent. But now the game is slowing down for them. And then it was just like, I remember when that light cut on for me. Oh, you know man. what I'm saying? And it's kind of like flattering. It's like deja vu. You get to watch it over again. Yeah. Like, Players just coming to their own, you know, Zadarius Smith, Matt Juna, Tavon Young. You know, when you get the game to slow down for them, it's like, oh, it's scary. Oh, yeah. Remember how we used to get film on all the tackles and all that stuff that you'd go up against? And, mm. and you'd be, you know, hey, okay, this guy, you know, I can get him with a long arm, I can get him with a stutter bull, whatever. Mm. I understand that you make a, you have a quarterback book. Yeah. That where you're studying quarterbacks. Yeah. Like, how, how does that help you? Well, I don't know. It, it started, you know, basically with the the kid in Pennsylvania. You know, we couldn't get over that Pittsburgh hump for a long time. So I just started creating a book on him. And then it grew to 12 in Boston. And then it just kind of grew. So, you know, on, on all quarterbacks. But uh, it's sadly to say this one I haven't got a beat on because I haven't played him that often. But I got certain things. But, you know, Phillip. He, he's got one of those games that you can't read. It's kind of like an unorthodox. Can't really complain, but he can throw the long ball and throw the short ball. You know, he can go quick. He's putting that ball on the money, so you can't let him know what you're in. You yeah. got to execute at the last second. You're like, all right, let me hold it, let me hold it. Okay, yeah, now I'm in man to man. You know, we're facing a team that's got a tremendous amount of fight, too, and they had a lot of special players. So it's going to be a good fight. I think this is probably going to be the – Definitely the premier match of, of Wild Card Weekend. This is, everybody's tuning in to this one. And you know what, Sizzle, everybody says that offense wins championships right. now. What do I say to that? Bullshit. You, that need, that you, you definitely need to play some defense. You know, so. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, Sizzle, my pleasure, buddy. And just keep it going Absolutely. as long as you can because we enjoy the heck out of watching you. It's been an honor, Coach.